Hello, my name is Alex Whitlow, and welcome to the first installment of Between Two Fermenters, a new series from Great Lakes Brewery in which I will delve deep into the seedy underbelly of Ontario's craft brewing industry. Each installment will have a new guest. This week, I am joined by owner and president of Great Lakes Brewery, my boss and personal best friend, Peter Bullitt. Welcome, Peter Bullitt. Thank Hi. you so much for taking the time out of your busy day of running a brewery to be here with me. Um, is one of these beers for me? They weren't, but because we're best friends. Uh, this week's installment is brought to you by Octopus Wants to Fight brand IPA. Uh, available for just three twenty-five. dollars Now that... Not too much foam, please. Okay. Go easy. It's... Oh, I hate when you fucking pour the beer like that. You know, you're actually supposed to have the, the head on top. It protects the beer, is what I'm told. Six by inches? Th oh, by the time you get there, it'll be really fresh. Very protected. Mm hmm Thank you for that. Yes, that's... Do you have a slurp when you drink? It tastes better. You let the, like, you aerate it, it works. All right. <sighs> Octopus wants to fight brand IPA from Great Lakes Brewery. Just brimming with hop character. You get the <laughs> mosaic just right out of the gates. Uh, followed by a lot of tropical fruit, just like a whole truckload of tropical fruit, and just like a little bit of a crisp, bitter finish. And it's available province-wide at the LCBO, bars and restaurants, the, the, the ones that are good. Um, but enough about that. Let's get into the hard-hitting questions that I spoke of earlier. And keep in mind that my performance review is coming up shortly, so just, just keep in mind. You keep in mind that your performance review is coming up. You have a dog, yes? Yes, I do have a dog. Is he a good boy? He is a good boy. He is a good dog. Are you a good boy? Depends on the day. Has it always been called Great Lakes Brewery or did you start as like Good Lakes Brewery? No. A little presumptuous, don't you think? Uh, a little obvious with the, you know, geography of where we are in the lakes. Do you have a favorite lake? The one closest to us. Huron, eh? So, I know that we, uh, we work at a local craft brewery. I don't know if you knew that. Um, where do we source our, uh, our new fermenters? Uh, we, we got a couple fermenters. Do we do, like, Costco? Not Costco. For sure not Costco. Although we are very close to Costco. Emotionally um, or physically? Geographically speaking. Almost as close as Highland Equipment, who makes our tanks. Highland Equipment. And no, I wasn't paid to say that. Nor I. They're like, if you like buy two, they're like, you know, like they, they come in bulk packs? No, you can buy as many as you want. Oh, okay, cool. Which comes in handy, because I've bought as many as we need. You're gonna need more, because this is pretty good. We got more coming. Mm. We got another four coming. Then, come on. Fresh is best. Um, hashtag Fresh GLB. So, a 30th anniversary saw the release of a almost feature-length documentary. What was the inspiration behind that? One hour. One hour in length, actually. That's like the length of like an 80s action film. Now they're all like three hours. It's TV shows are one hour. I know. The production value is crazy. This documentary that uh, you speak of, where, where could our, our friends and, and fans find this, uh, online or otherwise? You could find it on the World Wide Web at uh, www.greatlakesbeer.com. There's a great link there for it. YouTube, Vimeo. Just a word to the wise, I'm not in it as much as Peter is, but um, it's, it's actually still surprisingly pretty good, despite that. It was on purpose that you weren't in it that much. Yeah, That's I, why we're giving you this opportunity. And, and I'm grateful um, for it. Uh, let's see what we got here. Um, I just have some backup questions in case these questions weren't hard-hitting enough. So what can we expect from Great Lakes Brewery this coming spring and summer months? Uh, nice weather. Great patio at our retail store. Uh, some great beers. Octopus obviously is uh, delicious, and we're enjoying some now. Oh. And... Um, the summer, you know, Sunnyside, coming back, Session IPA. The classics. 
Seven Barrels? Don't forget the Seven Barrels series. I almost forgot the Seven Barrels series until you mentioned it. <laughs> since you brought it up, uh, this is my interview, but I'll, I'll allow it. Uh, since you brought it up, what is the Seven Barrel series? It's a series of beer that are seven barrels in, uh, in volume. So just any seven barrels will do? Like, do you just... Well, we brew it on a seven barrel system. Okay. That's why we call it Seven Barrels. That's, that's a pretty clever name. And it's pretty, pretty system. Copper, shiny. So it's kind of like Tank 10, but like, there's seven of them? Not seven tanks, seven barrels, which are, it's an American size of liquid. Look, I'm no rocket Scientologist, but I can count to seven, all right? Backwards? Slow your roll, buddy. <laughs> it's been a pretty good birthday year so far. What might we expect for our 31st birthday? We already passed that. I didn't get us anything. That was pretty intense, huh? <whistles> My heart is racing. I should probably get that checked out. For our next segment, we're just gonna do some quick rapid fire questions. All right. Just, you know, whatever, what, yeah, just let it, let it flow. Best part of owning a craft brewery? Lots of beer. Worst part of owning a craft brewery? Too much beer. <laughs> What's your favorite beer name across the history of our beer names? Limp Puppet. So you're the one. Why is Canuck Pale Ale the lifeblood that it is at the brewery? Yeah, that's the go-to beer of probably all the staff, including myself. 2010, Olympics, you know, delicious. First West Coast Pale Ale in Ontario. I'll have to try one of those sometime. What's the best thing to do in Etobicoke on a Friday afternoon? Hang out on the GLB patio, of course. <sighs> Curveball. Ooh, got that one. What's your sin number? I honestly have no clue. You could have a beer with any historical figure, living or dead, who would it be? Uh, I have one, but it's not historical. He's hysterical. I'll allow it. Is that good? I like that use of wordplay, yeah, I'll allow it. Bill Murray. Love that guy. <sighs> who wouldn't? Strong features. You don't have a beard or any tattoos, uh, yet you work at a craft brewery. Explain yourself. I don't have to. I like shaving. I like the clean look. My wife likes it too. Does your wife know you where you are right now? Not a clue. So not much has changed, huh? <laughs> Barbados Beach House or GLB Brew Pub? That's a tough one, man. Can't, uh, can we do both? Is there a beer like market to be had in Barbados? Like we could just, I'd commute if you want me to do it. You would burn there so bad. I got like quite a bit of hair. It's like it protects. That's like gives me the bone chills. Uh, try Sorry. not to use the word bone. When we're not hanging out outside the brewery, which is pretty often, uh, what, what are you doing you know, in the Etobicoke area? What, what are the cool things to do around the brewery? Well, when the brewery's closed, it's a good time to explore other venues. Uh, Crooked Q on Bloor Street, they serve Great Lakes beer, and they are nice people, and uh, they have lots of televisions, so you could watch sporting games and stuff. Do you think they'll air this? No. No. Place with standards. <laughs> Sounds fun. Uh, you, know, you can order a pizza from Dino's Pizza. Is it true our brewery's haunted? It is true. Spooky. I know. Once I was uh, touched there. Did you talk to HR? I freaking am HR. It's a good loophole. Are you trying to get me drunk? Are you drinking water? Hey, man, it's 9 a.m. somewhere. I think you got it. They hide a little at the bottom. All right, folks, and that concludes our first episode of Between Two Fermenters. I'd like to thank you for tuning in and Peter Bullitt, owner and president, and my special good buddy, for being my first uh, interviewee. I hope you remember that kindness uh, with our upcoming performance reviews. Uh, why don't you buy yourself half a beer on me? That will get you at least half of a Canuck.
anywhere you go. No, at the Great Lakes Retail Store, that's a 12 ounce beer. I, I have been meaning to stop by there. I perhaps will check it out. Now, until we see each other again, I'd like to remind you to check out some Octopus Wants to Fight brand IPA, of course, but to keep tipping that glass in the right direction. GLP, brew for you, Ontario. Oh. Going to Brian's boss. Another typical day. Everybody goes to bed.